Hello everyone, my name is Martin Wong and I am a photographer. I have been shooting cosplay for over 15 years, which is a great fun hobby where people dress up in costume. Previously, I have done a video, a talking head video, where I teach you about how to shoot cosplay, some etiquette and some fun stuff about it. But today, I'm going to show you an in-person experience on how I actually shoot cosplay at Fanime, which is one of my first cosplay conventions. It's going to be super fun. Let's go! Since I go to conventions about 10 times a year, packing for a convention is pretty much a second nature for me. I don't even store away my luggage anymore. For this trip, I wanted to shoot videos and photos, and I wanted to pack light. So, my backpack, I have my Nikon Z7 and my Z6 with four different lenses. I was planning to use the 85mm on my Nikon Z7 for photos, and the 15mm on my Nikon Z6 for videos. For my carry-on luggage, I have my DJI RS3 Pro and just my clothes and some toiletry. Then I just head to the airport and get on my flight. P.S. I was working on this script while I was on my flight. Asking a cosplayer to shoot at a convention might be the most intimidating part, but it's actually pretty easy. There's no magic word or anything. And the worst case scenario is that they say no. And majority of the time if they refuse to shoot with you, it's because they're too busy or just too tired. One of the most challenging part about shooting at a convention is how crowded the place is. You're full of people, you have a lot of attendees, you have lots of cosplayers walking around all over the place. So sometimes, I think it's a better idea if you ask the cosplayer to move a few feet away so then it'd be a less crowded area, maybe there's no people in the background. In fact, most of the time, cosplayer will actually appreciate you to take a better photo to get more aesthetically pleasing area. Now, another thing that one you want to keep in mind is that cosplayer, their outfits, like what kind of character they are. So you want to think that the location, how it matters. For example, someone that's like a sci-fi character, someone from a futuristic kind of world, you don't want to put them near like a tree, a garden, a flower. So maybe you want to put them at a garage or even like just a blank white wall or gray wall, something that makes sense for the character. Step one, walk around to find a cosplayer we want to shoot with. Step two, once you find a cosplayer you want to shoot, just say, hey, can I get some photos? If they say yes, then step three, shoot some photos. And step four, you're done. That's it. Bonus points is that if you can ask them for their social media, so when you post your photos, you can tag them. Learning how to post is very important. So if you know how to post yourself, it'd be very helpful for the cosplayer when you're shooting with them. Two tricks that I always use are copy posting and mirror posting. For copy posting, you get near the cosplayer, you can either stay in front of them or next to them. So when you do a post, they'll do exactly what you're doing. And they can look at you and see how to do it. Another trick is mirror posting, where you stand in front of them like a mirror. So when you move, they move just like the way that you do. What up? Earlier, I've mentioned that you can ask the cosplayer for their social media handle so you can tag them later when you post the photos. Now, there's another thing that's very common in the cosplay world is that you can print business card ahead of time. So after you shoot with them, just give them one and they can find your photos later. And lastly, don't forget just to have fun. You're at a cosplay convention. And at the end of the day, enjoy cosplay for what it is. It is a hobby that started from fandom, from passion. So enjoy it for this art form. There's so much to do at a convention. You can go check out panels, you can go to Artist Alley, buy your favorite stuff, and that's it. And if you want to learn more about shooting cosplay, don't forget to watch my other video. Until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe, and leave a comment and let me know what more do you want me to talk about. Until next time, have a good day. Asking cosplay for photos, To get a better location, to get more aesthetically pleasing photo. No, God, please, no, no, no. It'd be very helpful if you know posing, but there are also some tips and tricks that you can do to make your cosplay look better in the photos. <laughs>